Honest Age Fat Guy here. Today I'm going to be answering a question I get asked quite a bit, and that is, what is the difference in technology available in air conditioners or heat pumps? And so I want to break this down for you guys and keep it super simple. When we're talking about air conditioning or heat pumps, there are basically three different types of technology available, and this is true across most brands of equipment. So whether it's a carrier or a train or a Lennox or an American Standard brand piece of equipment, all the big manufacturers, they offer each of these pieces of technology, okay? So the first one we'll talk about is single stage. And I'm just gonna speak uh, in regards to cooling. So both an air conditioner and a heat pump have the ability to cool. Uh, a heat pump can heat additionally, but for the purpose of this, we're just gonna talk about cooling, okay? So a single stage heat pump or air conditioner, the way it, is work, it works is that we size that piece of equipment so that on the hottest day of the year in your part of the country, and that makes a difference because we size equipment differently, whether you're in Oregon where I'm at and the hottest day of the year is like 100 degrees, or if you're in Phoenix, Arizona, where I lived for about six months, <laughs> where it gets 120 degrees in the summer, you're gonna have to size it differently. But no matter where you're at, the way it works, your air conditioning contractor will always install, should, if you hire a good guy, he should always install a piece of equipment that is sized so that on the hottest day of the year, it can cool your home down to a comfortable level inside, okay? And so a single stage piece of equipment, it has that full capacity. So that's its one speed, is no matter what, it's gonna deliver this large amount of cooling so that on the hottest day of the year, it'll cool your home. So the drawback of this type of equipment is that on any day where it's not the hottest day of the year, that air conditioner is in theory oversized, okay? Because it's gonna be delivering more cooling than your home actually needs. And so in order to, uh, so the way that that works in your home is your air conditioner kicks on, it delivers a large amount of cooling, once the thermostat is satisfied and the thermostat says, hey, we're down to 72 degrees, we're comfortable, then the air conditioner is gonna kick off. And then as soon as that, that thermostat goes from 72 degrees up to 73 degrees, the air conditioner kicks on, but it's gonna deliver that full blast of cold air. Okay, so what that ultimately results in is you get a lot of short cooling cycles throughout the day. So you get blast of cold air, air conditioner off, blast of cold air, air conditioner off. And so what ends up happening is throughout your home, you're getting these fast blasts of cold. And so it's gonna result in uh, big temperature differences just between the time that the thermostat's on and off, but also from one end of the home to the other. And especially if you have a multi-story home, a two-story or even a three-story, we have a lot of three-story homes in this part of Oregon, you're gonna see a big temperature swing from the, the lowest floor to the upper floor because the air isn't really circulating long enough to be mixed properly, okay? So ultimately, it'll keep your home cool, but it's not gonna feel very consistent and it'll be a, a bit of a temperature change throughout the day. Okay, the next piece of equipment is gonna be a two-stage piece of equipment. So this is air conditioner or heat pump, has two stages of cooling. So it's, a, it's able to deliver that full capacity on the hottest day of the year. It can, it can blast out the home and keep your, you guys comfortable. However, on days of the year where it's not the coldest, where it's a little bit more moderate as you're coming in to spring or you're leaving summer heading into fall, but you still have some cooling days, that uh, has a low capacity as well as the high capacity. So the low capacity is, is typically about 60%. So now when the thermostat kicks on, it can choose based on what the temperature is in the home, how much cooling we need. It can decide, do we want 100% capacity? Do we want a blast in cooling? Or are we just looking to go up a degree or two in temperature? Or I'm sorry, bring the temperature down a degree or two. And then in that case, we're gonna use our low speed which is only 60% capacity. So that's gonna result in less cooling, less blower speed, less noise, and also it's gonna have a little bit longer runtime. So now it's gonna help mix the air better. We're gonna be pulling that old stale hot air back into the furnace. 
and then uh, sending out the new cool air a little more efficiently. So two-stage equipment is much more comfortable and precise than a single-stage piece of equipment. However, of course, the price does go up a little bit to get you the different parts needed to make a two-stage piece of equipment happen. The last piece of technology I'll talk about is going to be called, um, on a furnace, it's called modulating, but on an, in an air conditioner, we're just going to call it variable capacity. So each manufacturer has a different name for this piece of technology, but it's a variable output. So the way that it works is the, air, the thermostat and the heat pump or air conditioner, they work together to determine precisely how much cooling the home needs. And so they're gonna be able to output anywhere between, and this depends a little bit on the brand, but in general, between 40 and 100% capacity, it can deliver anything in between. Okay, so if it's a 70 degree day or an 80 degree day or a 110 degree day, we can put out 40% or 70% or 100%. So what that means is just more precision, more exact cooling, we're gonna be using as little electricity as, as necessary because we'll be delivering just the precise amount of cooling the home needs. And then additionally, we're gonna be having a longer run cycle. So that's gonna result in the air mixture in the home is gonna be more even, and you'll have more even temperatures from one end of the home to the other. And on a multi-story home, we're gonna be able to get that temperature difference very close. So you're not gonna be putting on a sweater as you walk from your bedroom on the third floor down to the basement to watch TV. We're gonna help even out those temperatures. So, and then of course, as we move into this uh, variable capacity technology, price is also gonna be higher. So single stage, two stage, variable capacity as far as pricing goes. So ultimately it comes down to your budget. You know, what can you guys afford versus you know, what do you really, what level of comfort are you looking for within your home? But if we're just looking at overall comfort, I definitely recommend variable capacity heat pump or air conditioner for the best comfort and also the lowest um, cost, uh, the lowest run cost.